Good morning. This is what it's like most mornings when I get up. Very dark. The, uh, the other walks that I've shown you were on days that Marcel uh, got up a bit later than usual, but uh, we usually go out around 6.30 and at this time of year, 6.30 is very dark. But there's a beautiful full moon out. It's really quite special to be out this early and just sort of see this very fresh snow that we've gotten sparkling under the moonlight. Here we are in one of my very, very favorite places in Ottawa. This is Mer Bleu Bog. It's on the outskirts of Ottawa and it's, um, it's just a very unique landscape. Uh, unique to this area at least because it is, um, it resembles a boreal uh, northern landscape almost a tundra landscape. This bog is over 7,000 years old. It's mostly peat, uh, the soil. Peat is uh, sphagnum moss, and uh, I had read that it can be up to, I think, eight meters thick here. Um, and that makes it uh, an environment that the soil has a lot of acidity in it. There are plants that have specialized to grow in very acidic uh, environments. One of those plants is larch. So there's a lot of larch here in Mer Bleu. There's a also a lot of black spruce, um, Labrador tea, cranberry, um, cotton grass. So we really do see a very tundra-like ecosystem here. Lots of birds and foxes, coyote, deer, beaver. It's a habitat for the endangered spotted turtle and so it's a very very important habitat. And I also read that is one of the most studied wetlands in the world. So it's a pretty cool place and it just also happens to be stunningly beautiful. No matter what time of the year I come, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'll show you a little bit of it. One of the things I like about coming here is that they actually have benches uh, kind of strewn here and there throughout the trail. And uh, for me right now, it's kind of uh, a really good thing because my, my different health problems have been causing me a lot of body aches, a lot of 
back problems and uh, it's really exacerbated when I walk for a long time so it's good for me to be able to stop and sit once in a while and have a little bit of chocolate because chocolate makes everything better. <laughs> It's a bit challenging to film today to be honest because it's so cold um, I can't have my phone out for too too long so uh, in between shots I'm actually tucking my phone underneath my scarf here but uh, it feels so so good to be out there's something so satisfying about being warmly dressed and feeling really comfortable in very cold air. It's just, it's a very cozy feeling that's hard to beat. Oh, that was really cold. Time to go home and make myself some nice hot tea. Mm. Nothing like a nice cup of hot Earl Grey with just a little bit of milk. So warming, especially on a super cold day like today. Appropriately so because uh, last night was the full moon and this is actually known as the cold moon It's the last full moon of the year and usually that's when the cold weather is um, I'll catch you up on my couple of days of my advent calendar which I already opened <laughs> because I couldn't wait so yesterday's yarn was called Morning Ritual and it's gorgeous. It's this super delicate um, sort of mauve pink and cream. Really, really lovely. And then today's yarn is called Whimsy and it's very whimsical. It's another creamy base uh, with yellow and teal speckles. So that will echo a lot of the other colors in the advent calendar so far. This morning I was looking for uh, one of my little crochet hooks that I use as a as a tool to pick up stitches and um, I couldn't find it so I, I started looking through all my different project bags and I came across uh, a sort of half finished object that I'd completely forgotten about and when I saw it I immediately was just completely overtaken with the desire to try and finish it and that is my shine mittens um, so this is the first one I finished it uh, today and I am hoping though I don't know we'll see I would love to finish the pair <laughs> uh, by Tuesday because uh, Tuesday is the solstice and wouldn't it be lovely to have a pair of mittens called shine mittens on uh, on the solstice the day when we celebrate the returning of the light after the shortest day of the year. The Shine Mittens is a beautiful pattern by Sophia Camaborn of, uh, you probably know uh, the Camabornia uh, YouTube channel here. 
and uh, she is a lovely woman living in Sweden and she designs really gorgeous patterns that are Scandinavian inspired. Uh, she designs a lot of mittens and hats and socks uh, and accessories and uh, a little birdie told me that she will be soon releasing uh, some garment patterns so I'm really excited about that because I just love her aesthetic and her color work is so so lovely and uh, this this mitten pattern is no exception you've got um, these beautiful Latvian braids you've got a little flower uh, design on the cuff and then these sort of ribbons that weave in and out and sort of sparkle it kind of reminds me of um, snowflakes uh, going through sunlight um, it's really 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 beautiful and I really love how the thumb is worked to the design of the gusset and then the straight uh, row, rows of alternating uh, colors on the thumb and the way that the decreases on the thumb um, are highlighted by this yellow row uh, similar to uh, on the sides here you've got yellow um, yellow rose and then a middle accent of uh, alternating yellow and white stitches very very beautiful not difficult the pattern is beautifully written um, unfortunately I can't tell you what the yarn is the cream yarn is a yarn that I bought at our farmers market many years ago and the uh, farm that produced the yarn is no longer in business. Um, and then the yellow yarn I bought at Rhinebeck many years ago, and unfortunately I don't have the tag. I did go back and watched some of my, uh, my Rhinebeck recap videos, hoping uh, I would have mentioned who made this yellow yarn, but I don't know. It's a beautiful, um, fingering weight yarn. To me it looks like it could be naturally dyed and it's that perfect mustardy yellow that I love. So anyway, I'm going to keep working on the second mitten and we'll see if I have time to uh, to complete the pair for, for the solstice. <laughs> 